Hello and welcome to this Hustle Castle video and today we'll be looking at the djembe but more specifically spending our 500k's worth of djembe kraken tokens. As we can see from this poll I did recently it looks like most of you want to see me open up a load of these legendary gem chests and see if we can get any ancient gems from it. And for anyone wondering you can't just buy kraken totems with diamonds so you can imagine how long this would have taken me to get to this 500k mark. I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who participated in this poll it's always great to see so many people getting involved. I do have a new poll out for you now, and this one is actually going to be asking you guys what you want to be seeing in future videos. It can be anything about Hustle Castle, so make sure you click the link above and join in, or you can click the link at the top of the description. Anyways, back to today's video, you want to know how many times you would need to open this chest yourself to earn one or more ancient gems. Now this isn't guaranteed either, as it is in the section of what you might get, but going based on my previous two attempts of the donkey of opening up their legendary gem chests. You can be looking to earn two legendary gems and obviously quite a lot of purples at the same time with the 15 that they had available. But because there's no limit to the gem bay and only depending on how much you're willing to spend, you can be sure that we're going to be getting at least a few legendaries but I'm mainly hoping for at least one ancient because we are spending hundreds of thousands of course. So at the end of the video I'll be putting up on the screen how many purple, legendary and ancient gems I receive and how many chests it took me to do it. You can skip to this time here if you just wanted to know the results, but it's obviously a bit better to watch this video throughout and get a better understanding of how many chests you would need to open up yourself to get the gems that you actually want, even if they're not ancients. So right now we have plenty of Kraken tokens and I've been dying to spend them, so let's get into this and see what we can get. And because we have so many to open, I will be speeding up this chest opening phase and talking about when I get the legendaries and the ancients and on what chest they were actually on. So let's begin and I am expecting to get at least one ancient gem after all this, otherwise them putting it on the list and not being able to obtain one after 500k of Kraken tokens would just be ridiculous at that point. So luckily enough we are on our first legendary gem just after two chests, which I can tell you is actually quite fortunate for things to come. The next time we earn a legendary gem it does take a lot longer to come around and that's on chest number 10. So you can see we actually earn our first gem rather quickly. The next legendary is on chest number 12 which is a crit gem and sometimes I feel like that these are actually harder to come by than most gems but I think that's just me. The next one takes a little while to come around and that's on number 26 and that will be earning us a legendary armor gem. After this we actually don't get anything significant which is a real shame considering how much we spent but let's have a look at the totals and see what we was able to earn. So these are what we got from opening up these chests and I opened up a total of 37 of them and unfortunately I didn't actually receive any ancient gems which is just kind of silly. If I did 4 gem bays a day and earned 2200 kraken tomes on average using the banner of kraken flag of course it would still have taken me 57 days to earn this many kraken tokens. So you'd expect after the amount of grinding I would have had to have done I would have deserved at least one ancient gem. But on a positive side note I did receive a lot of dust like a crazy amount. I'm able to upgrade an ancient gem fully from level 1 all the way to level 40 and still have spare dust left over. So what can we take from this experience? Well you shouldn't be opening these chests if you was hoping for legendaries or ancients as they're too far and few between and if you was hoping to get purples I only received 15 in this run and if I spent my money on just the violet option I would have actually earned 46 in total for the same amount of money which is just over 3 times as much. So here is what I would do. I would personally recommend that you only open up the violet gem option until you got most of your starting lineup that has at least 80% covered in purple gems. And from there it could make sense in opening these legendary gem chests to earn the dust that you'll need to upgrade your gems and still earn the odd purple or legendary along the way. If you enjoyed watching this chest opening video then make sure you give this video a like to show me you actually did and get subscribed to not miss out on unique things I do on Hazard Castle in the near future. And talking of unique, I actually have a special playlist of things like the video you've just seen which will be definitely worth the watch because they're all going to be unique in their own certain way. Also if you want to know how to be better in the gem bait and maybe you just want to earn more Kraken tokens then make sure you watch this video here for my take on how you can actually improve. It's a bit old now but it still holds some good information so it's still going to be worth checking out and leave any comments down below if you have any questions on the gem bait or on how to do better in your current situation and yeah thank you for watching I really hope you all have an awesome day.